If you use Ubuntu or Debian or other Linux distribution based on Ubuntu or Debian, you might have used the apt command at least once in your life. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show the top 7 apt commands which every Ubuntu or Debian user should know. Here we go with the list. The first command is apt update. You need sudo with it. Contrary to what you think, it does not update your system. What it updates is the repositories. So your system checks against the repositories and it checks if there are newer version of the programs available. It won't update your existing system or your existing packages right away. It will just update the information about the packages and their versions available. This is why when the apt update commands finishes, you will see that two packages or X packages can be upgraded. The packages have not been upgraded. You upgrade them with the command apt upgrade. And this is the second command in our list here. So you must use the apt update command before running the apt upgrade so that your system knows what are the new packages available. And when you do that, you can just run this. And if it's asked to continue, you can press enter or just enter Y for yes here. It will install all the updates available for the packages that you installed through apt or Ubuntu software in your system. This is the reason why you will see a command like sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade because these two commands are complement of each other. The minus y will save you one keystroke where it asks whether you want to install the upgrades or not. You should run this command from time to time to update all the packages in your system at once. The next command is install. I mean, you can of course use the Ubuntu software center, but you can also use the apt command to install a program and you can use the magnificent tab completion. So just start typing a, com a program's name and hit tab and it will suggest you the programs available with those string. And then when you try to install the program, it will show you the dependencies, the packages which will be installed with the program and then you can continue. Installing that way is okay when you know the exact name of the program. But what if you do not know the name of the program? Then you can use the search option with apt. So for example, if I have to search for a program that is related with paint, I'll just use sudo apt search paint and it will show me all the packages that has paint in its name or its description. Uh, you should be a little bit careful with what you're trying to install because the text paint is the name of the GUI program but the text paint config may just be a library. So you, you have to be a little careful in what exactly you're going to install here. And since you installed a program, you should also learn to use to uninstall the program. And for that, you can use the remove option. Just use sudo apt remove and the name of the program and it will be removed. Easy peasy. This next command is my favorite. You should use this command from time to time because it will save you a lot of disk space. When you upgrade your system, there are packages which are not needed anymore, but they are still in your system. For example, the old Linux kernel headers, which are not needed by the system anymore. If you use this command sudo apt auto remove once a week, you will have plenty of free space. And this is one of the ways you can clean up your Ubuntu system. If you want to learn more ways to maintain your system, you should check the video where I have shown like seven or eight ways you can clean up your Ubuntu or Linux system.
the last in our list is app show suppose you want to know which version of the package you are going to install and what will be installed with this package so you can just use apt show and package name and it will show you a number of things like the package name and the version it is going to install along with the maintainer of the package and then it will also show you the size which will be downloaded and then the dependencies and other stuff this is helpful when you want to know if ubuntu provides a certain version of a program or not and if they have the older version you probably want to download the program from some other ways like using a snap package or install from their website or use a ppa these are the seven must know commands for ubuntu or debian users but apt and apt-get has way too many options you can always refer to the man pages or you can also check out some articles i have written about using apt and apt-get commands and if you like this tutorial as always give it a thumbs up subscribe and stay tuned for more linux videos bye bye